Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today on this episode of New Egg Now, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the ASUS VG248 24 inch gaming monitor. New Egg did sponsor today's episode of New Egg Now, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. Be sure to go ahead and check it out there. You can see the nice retail box and packaging right here. We have some quick tech specs for us. This is G-Sync compatible, 165 hertz, 0.5 milliseconds response time. This is a 1920 by 1080p full HD monitor with a TN panel. Here's the full retail box. We'll show you it from all different sides. Here it is from the backside, Asus in search of incredible. And now we're back to the front of the package. Let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, we have your warranty information followed by your quick start guide walking us through how to set everything up and connect all the included cables, how to control it, as well as how to use the height adjustable stand. We also have their contact information if you need any help or support. So you can see that. Next up, we have the base right here. You can see NVIDIA G-Sync sticker proudly displayed on it. Check that out, red and black color scheme. Looks really cool, really sharp. And definitely a nice base. You can see at the bottom right here, we have a couple different feet with a nice rubbery grip to provide great grip to any surface. Next up you can see we have our power cable and power supply adapter followed by one included display port cable. Last but not least we have the monitor itself right here. You can see our menu and control buttons right there. Really cool black glossy plastic back and you can see some of the textures we have and designs on it. The nice glossy logo right there. It's got a good shine to it. The 100 by 100 Vista mount if you want to remove the included stand. But the design's cool. We have the Kensington lock down here. We have more monitor and device information. So again, model number VG248QG for this one. We can look at our IO as well too. You can see we have our power. We have our DVI, our HDMI, our display port. Then we have our audio options right there too. You can see those. So HDMI is 1.4 for HDMI, display port 1.2. And then you can see it's dual link DVID. And then we have, it looks like a line out and our headphone jack as well. This does have two two watt speakers built in. So we do have audio built in. We have two two watt speakers built in. Then you can see too, we have the arm right here that holds the monitor. Now let's look at the front side of the monitor for a second. Check that out. You can see how everything looks right here with their logo front and center. You can see a little bit thick on the bezels on the side. So you can see that not super slim, but not too thick either. I'd say pretty standard for a monitor at this price point. And then you can kind of gauge the thickness right there too. This is not a curved display. So it's just a nice flat screen, no curvature to it. And that's the thickness you'll see. Now let's go ahead, let's get the stand installed. So to install the stand, you're gonna take the base plate just like you see here. You're gonna line it up just like so. And now we're ready to take the screw and just tighten it in. We can just do finger tight, make sure it's threaded. Then you can see we have it tightened up. Nothing's wobbling or anything like that. And we're ready to stand the monitor up. So check that out. Take a look at that. We have the height adjustable stand right here. So there's the lowest height setting. Here's the maximum height setting right there. We can rotate this around too, guys, if you wanna do some um, portrait viewing, vertical viewing, whatever you wanna call it right there. So check that out, pretty cool, right? We can actually rotate it back and I can show you guys the tilt as well. So there's our max tilt forward. There's our max tilt back. So you can see that. Maybe get a feel for it from the side. So max tilt forward, max tilt back. We can also rotate it. You can see we can turn it that way and this way. So we can rotate it either way, depending on what you desire for the different viewing experiences. And don't forget with this monitor, we actually can rotate it too. So check out that rotation. We have a nice swivel with it. So look at that, really, really impressive stuff right there with this monitor. They actually have the specs on the side for us. So the height is adjustable to 130 millimeters. Our tilt is minus five degrees to plus 33 degrees. And the swivel is minus 90 degrees to plus 
90 degrees with that. So it's really a nice base. It's one of the best bases and stands I've ever reviewed for a monitor, giving us all the functionality we could possibly want. Now let's go ahead, let's plug it in, power it on, and try it out. So now you can see we have the monitor powered up right here. Display one is our VG248. We're getting 1920 by 1080p and 164.917 hertz for the refresh rate. On the right hand side, we have our icons for our menu buttons. Let's go ahead, let's check them out. First, we have our power button, followed by our game visual settings right here. We can cycle through those options. Next up, you can see we have some more game settings for us. We have game plus, so we can turn on a crosshair, timer, FPS counter, display alignment, depending on what we're in the market for adding to the screen, depending on what we're playing. And then we can see all of our menu settings right here. We can learn more about the monitor and what we're getting right now spec wise. Here's our game visuals again. Then we have our blue light filter. You can adjust it from level zero to level four for your eye health and sensitivity. Then you can see our color adjustments and options. Same with our image, ELMB. We have adaptive sync as well. Then you can see our sound settings. Then we have our input selection, DVI, HDMI, or display port. We have our main monitor settings right here. You can see everything. We can reset everything as well. And then we have our favorite settings. We have three options to set for our preferred settings. So that's a quick look at the menu settings. Now you can see we have a nice video pulled up right here of some beautiful nature footage and scenery. And I wanted to show you guys what it's like to view content on this monitor. So again, we have a wonderful stand, one of the best on the market today, at least in my opinion, where we get full control, where we can rotate this to our desired viewing angle. But I want you guys to be able to see what it's like on this TN panel to view content, especially off to the side, so you can get a feel for what that looks like right here. This will not have as good of viewing angles as a VA or especially an IPS panel, but I think for most people sitting front and center to it, gaming, content, creating that sort of thing, you're not gonna have any issues with this panel and the viewing angles. Let's go ahead, let's do that again with the lights off. So now you can see we have the lights off right here. I'm gonna rotate it around. You can get a feel for the viewing angle right there. Very nice. Again, good enough if you're just gonna be sitting in front of this monitor gaming. But you can get a feel for it in this panel. Again, so nice to be able to easily adjust and rotate this monitor with the great swiveling options we get with the included stand. Now we can take a look at those color profiles again while we have this video playing. So we can access it from the menu with just the quick settings right here. So let's go ahead, let's show you the different options. We'll cycle through them while the video is playing. You get a feel for how each setting really changes how the picture looks. We'll cycle through one more time. Now we'll go ahead, let's do that again with the lights off. Now you can see what it looks like with the lights off and how everything changes depending on the mode you choose. And again, there's something for everybody depending on the content you're consuming, what game you're playing, you can find the right settings for your needs. Now you can see I have a still image on the screen and we're gonna cycle through those visuals again so you can get a better feel for the different options that you have with this monitor. We'll do it one more time with the lights on. And now we'll go ahead, let's do it again with the lights off. So now you can see with the lights off how everything looks again. And we'll go through them all again after this. So here we go, we'll cycle through for the last time. They all really tweak and change the image depending on the setting that you choose. So now it's time to browse the web. You can see I got the YouTube trending page pulled up right here. I just want you guys to be able to decide for yourself how clear and crisp the font looks, how accurate it does representing colors, that sort of thing. I think for me at first glance, it's not as clear and crisp as I would expect. I think with the TN, what you're getting, the pros are gonna be the gaming performance. You're gonna get incredible gaming performance with this monitor, but it might come at a cost of some color reproduction and accuracy, maybe a little bit of clarity as well too. That's me being very picky though. Obviously you guys can see right here, I'm not editing this in any way, so you can get a feel for what it looks like. 
but I just looked at another ASUS 24 inch. It was a curved monitor and it's same specs, but 144 Hertz, not 165 Hertz. And with that monitor, it has a VA panel, not the TN. So I think that might be a little bit of the difference. So typically TNs aren't known for great viewing angles or colors where your VA kind of straddles in between the TN and the IPS. And the IPS is known for great color accuracy and viewing angles. They kind of tread the middle ground between both in regards to performance and color, that sort of thing. So just keep in mind, you are on one end of the spectrum and this is geared towards gamers. Let's go ahead, let's pull up The Verge too. You can just see what another blog looks like with a lot of text and font, colors, images, all that good stuff. You can get a feel for it. Let's just click on an article too, here we go. You can see just another perspective of what it's like to browse the web with this monitor. Now let's go ahead, let's test out the refresh rate. So this is one of my favorite tests guys, where you can just see what it's like to have different FPS options on the screen at the same time. And you can see we're getting 165 FPS with our 165 Hertz monitor. That's the top item right here. You can see how clear everything is. There's no motion blurring. It looks so good. No stuttering, staggering, or anything like that. You can see what it's like at 83 FPS. So half that amount, you can see. Not bad, not bad at 83 FPS either. And then you can see 41. So drastic difference between 41 FPS and 165 FPS right there. And again, that's what you're gonna get with lower end monitors with a lower refresh rate, 60 Hertz, that sort of thing. You'll be closer to that picture quality versus us up here with the 165 FPS with our 165 Hertz monitor. Now it's time for one of my favorite tests. We're gonna be testing out the built-in speaker quality of this Asus monitor. Again, we have two two watt speakers. I have the volume set to 80 for the monitor and 100 on Windows. We'll be using my binaural microphone to capture the audio, just like you guys were here listening to it in the studio with me. So let's go ahead, let's give it a listen. Now let's listen to another song. So what's a gaming monitor review without some gaming? So you can see we got Fortnite pulled up right here. Currently we have it set to epic settings and 165 FPS at 1920 1080p. So we're trying to max out the monitor and we're using an RTX 3070. So you can see how responsive everything is right now as we just started this match. So far so good, everything looks great. Very, very responsive. I'm impressed already. So you can just get a feel for what it's like to play Fortnite using this monitor right here. Got him, let's go. Got him. 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 All right, yeah, we got that victory. All thanks to this monitor. Now you can see we got Warzone pulled up right here. Check it out. Same thing, 1920, 1080p, 165 Hertz refresh rate. 
so you can get a feel for how everything looks. It looks really good on this monitor. Very nice visuals. Oh, I already got killed. This game is so hard. Next up, you can see we're playing Fall Guys right now. 161 FPS. That's what we're averaging. Colors look great. Very responsive so far. Just made it. Oh, we're sliding. Let's go. All right. We're so close to the end. Ah. Aha. We're gonna make it, let's go. So let me share with you guys my final thoughts in regards to this specific monitor. So I gotta say the price to performance ratio is definitely there. I think this is definitely in line with what you should expect, especially since this is a name brand monitor and we get G-Sync compatibility right off the bat, which is really cool. And it has a really nice stand, which just adds an extra layer of comfort to you as you're using a monitor like this. It's something that's often overlooked, but I definitely think it adds a solid value to this specific panel. Now, since this is a TN panel, this is really geared towards gamers. So if you want that performance, this is gonna be the panel you're gonna to want to check out. You want to get a TN panel if you want those really fast response rates, refresh times, that sort of thing. Typically TN is gonna be the way to go. Nothing wrong with VA or IPS as well. They definitely can handle that too. But stereotypically, TN panel is gonna be for gamers. And with that said, the compromises of a TN panel are color representation and accuracy and viewing angles. Now for me, sitting you know just directly in front of the monitor, not that big of a deal, right? And for colors, I think it's good enough for casual gamers. I think that might hurt a content creator more than a gamer, unless maybe you've just burned in hundreds of thousands of hours on one specific game on an old monitor and just used to colors being that way, then maybe that would kind of rub you the wrong way with this monitor. But I didn't notice anything glaring, anything out of the ordinary. My only thought I would say in regards to this monitor versus another Asus monitor I just reviewed that is also 24 inches and it's got a slight curve to the screen. That one has a VA panel. I just thought the picture quality looked a little bit clearer, even though they both have the same resolution. That one only has 144 Hertz refresh rate. This one has the same resolution and a 165 hertz. I just thought the picture quality looked a little bit clear on that VA panel. That could just be my eyes playing tricks on me. I'm not really sure. Honestly, I'd say for the average person, you're not going to notice any of those things. You'll be very pleased with the experience, whether it's this monitor or another monitor. But overall, I think the price to performance value is there. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? 
and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.